It's just after breakfast when Navy scientist Sandra hears an alarm. A torpedo has malfunctioned and has launched. This torpedo is designed to go deep and then explode when it returns to the surface. She knows its trajectory and needs to quickly figure out where it will explode. Luckily, Sandra got the job because she is good with maths. She knows how to complete the square. This video will show you how to do it too. Completing the square is a way to use algebra to find where a trajectory will equal zero. Sandra's torpedo has launched from and will return to a flat body of water. More abstractly, completing the square is a method for finding the real roots of quadratic functions. A real root is just where the function crosses the x-axis. Quadratic functions are found pretty much everywhere in maths, so learning how to do this will serve you well. Not all quadratic functions have real roots, but those others aren't covered here. Let's use a simple example first. Here we'll factor a function to find its roots. When we're finding roots, we should always set the function to equal zero. This means we need to focus on the places where y equals zero because that is where the function and the x-axis intersect. We factor it like this. What are two numbers that equal minus four when added up, but equal three when multiplied? The answer is minus one and minus three. We express this as, to find the roots, notice the equality with zero. So if you solve for x, then the numbers switch sides. But what about Sandra's torpedo? Its start and finish locations are the roots of the trajectory function shown here. There are no two whole numbers that add up to four, but equal minus 19 when multiplied. The previous method of factoring won't work. Let's instead complete the square. To start, let's get minus 19 out of the way. What does this statement on the left hand side mean? What is x squared visually? x squared is the area of a square with sides equal to x. Hence we say something multiplied by itself is a square. What does 4x mean? This is a rectangle with sides 4 and x. To make this function look like a square, we can halve 4 and rearrange this new half part. This is almost a square, but there's a bit missing. We need to find that part. The missing part is equal to 4 over 2 squared. You might like to play that part again and pay attention to how the algebra and the shapes change together. Let's not forget about 19, and so if we added a new value to the left hand side, we should add it to the right hand side to maintain the equality. We can now factor the left hand side by asking the same question as earlier. What are two numbers that when added equal 4, but when multiplied equal 4? The answer is two identical values that are each 2. We haven't yet found the roots. Roots are expressed as an equality with 0. But note that we have a single x value now. It should be easy to find the value of x by itself. Notice here that undoing the square on the left hand side means the right hand side gains a square root, but it must be plus or minus. That's because we can't know if x was positive or negative before it was squared, so we say it's both. These are the roots, where the function intercepts the x-axis. Sandra now has her answer. She knows the torpedo will explode 6.8 kilometers to the east. There are ships in that area and Sandra alerts them. Sandra is called a hero by the local media and is invited to more parties. She denies being a hero since being good at maths is just part of her job, but she does attend more parties. Good job, Sandra.